Morning guys and welcome back to I Like Watches. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking a look at what could be considered the most well-respected watch available to buy from AliExpress. Believe it or not, there are people out there that turn their noses up at the watches we love and buy from AliExpress, but there are a couple of watches that even the most hardcore watch snobs still appreciate and in today's video i'm going to be taking a look at one of those watches it is the seagull ocean star now i bought this one around five years ago from mark at long island watch and prior to starting my watch review channel on youtube it was probably my most worn watch it certainly was my most favorite diver beautifully made i absolutely love this thing now the seagull official store reached out to me recently and said the Black Friday sale is fast approaching. Are there any watches you want to review leading up to the sale? And I saw they've released a new 2022 version of this watch. So I said, yes, please, I'd love one of those. I'll do a comparison. So that's not what I'm gonna be doing in this video because, well, I've taken a look at both of these watches. Here's the other one. And they're basically exactly the same. <laughs> so in this video, I'm just gonna review it. But I've got two of them to show you <laughs> anyway. All the facts, figures, stats and specifications, green thumbs up, red thumbs down, lots of lovely macro shots, all the usual stuff. Right, let's go and get on with it. Before I head over to the light box to show you this watch, I want to try and understand how I've ended up with two identical watches and looking at the Seagull official store, actually, I think I'm going to have to take pretty much all the responsibility for it because I have listed their items newest to oldest. So that has put their newest items to the top. And you can see the original Ocean Star here. Look, it even says 2022. But I've also noticed this new high quality storage box. So I think what they've done is they've relaunched the original watch with the new packaging. Now I didn't get the new packaging. Um, I did ask for the blue dial version because I was planning to do a comparison with my original blue dial version. Um, but yes, I have essentially ended up with the original Ocean Star. Now they do make a new version of it and here it is and it does look really quite different so um yeah in this video i'll review the original one and then fingers crossed in the near future i'll get the updated version and then i can actually do a comparison between the original one and this new one so why does this seagull ocean star earn more respect from watch enthusiasts than your average aliexpress watch well firstly i think it's because seagull is not really considered a proper AliExpress brand. They are a huge brand in China, the largest watch manufacturer, one of the largest mechanical movement manufacturers in the world, actually. And they just happened to sell some of their watches on AliExpress, but they were around long before the internet was even around. So it's not really considered an AliExpress brand. And secondly, it's not a homage watch. It's an original design. And I think those two factors are what put a lot of people off watches from AliExpress. They tend to be made by brands that have been specifically created to sell watches on AliExpress, and most of those brands create homage watches. But also, thirdly, it does look good. It is a good-looking dive watch. It's also well-built. Seagull watches are generally very well-built watches, and I don't recall ever having one turn up with a quality control issue. And this watch contains the Seagull ST2130, which I spoke about in a bit of length in a recent video. It is an ETA2824 clone, a fairly well-respected movement, actually. Not a cheap movement. It beats at 28,800 beats per hour, hacks and hand winds. And that is one of the reasons why I think this watch, especially in the Black Friday sale, is going to represent really, really good value for money. This movement finds its way into very expensive Seagull watches, upwards of $600, $650. And in the sale, you're going to be able to pick this watch up for, well, apparently $244, which is significantly less than what I paid for it five years ago. And had I known about AliExpress back then, I probably could have saved myself a few quid. So yeah, I do think this watch does represent great value for money. Um, but let me run through all of the facts, figures, stats and specifications now. And um, yeah, then you can perhaps decide for yourselves. So I've already shared with you some of the important information, but let me give you the rest of it now. The bezel, it is a diver's bezel, unidirectional, but it's 60 clicks, not 120 clicks. And it is a nice bezel action and fairly crisp clicks. Have a listen. But the grip just isn't fantastic, unfortunately. The outside of the bezel is 
polished and um, yeah the sort of um, edging to it isn't particularly sharp or grippy um, it's not very big either so um, there's not a lot of surface to actually grip onto but um, yeah when you do manage to rotate it it is a fairly nice bezel action alignment's good as well in fact i've checked the alignment on both watches and as i've already mentioned generally their watches turn up with well no quality control issues so um yeah i'm not surprised the alignment's good as well aluminium bezel insert divers bezel as you can see a sort of frosted matte finish decent loom on this watch as well bgw9 you've got applied indices on the dial which are infilled with loom and um, yeah the loom on this watch does last very very well um sunburst dial i'm not overly keen on some divers having sunburst dials dive watches that are perhaps a little bit more toolish i don't think it suits this one has some high polished surfaces on it so i guess it's a slightly dressier diver so maybe it doesn't look too bad but um yeah i like the dial finish to match the finish on the bezels actually so um yeah maybe on this watch maybe it would have looked nicer with a sort of matching finish to the dial a non sunburst effect is basically what i'm saying and um, yeah overall very nice style nice um, magnifier lines up nicely um a frame around the date window not convinced by that when you've got a magnifier because well you just end up magnifying the frame don't you now what about the steel finishing it's not the best i've ever seen but it's not bad the transitions between the polished surfaces and the brushing are okay and um, look at this transition down here look you can just see that slightly rough finish to the edge there um yeah under macro you'll see that that isn't perhaps as crisp as some other watches we've seen coming out of aliexpress but for the money for a sort of 250 300 dollar 200 meter diver um the finishing is yeah still very very good bracelet and clasp seem okay you've got nice end links they are solid end links solid links you have push pins they're not screw pins uh, now the outside links are polished look i think that's a little bit too much polishing for me the center links are brushed um i think i would have preferred those to be polished because the outside edge is polished as well look and um, you do have a little bit of polishing on the case which i don't mind but yeah, I think that's too much polishing for me and my watch, um, you know, has scratched up a little bit on the bracelet, which you would expect. Um, nice clasp, though, um, pressed outer shell, but milled inner elements, double pushes, safety latch signature. Fairly standard, um, but nice enough. No divers extension, three micro adjusts. I think that's just about right. Nice case back as well. Screw down case back, screw down crown. You've got a uh, sort of signature logo in the center of the case back there with some specifications around the outside. The crown has the seagull logo on it and um, yeah it is a 200 meter diver and I suspect the water resistance capabilities um, are as advertised. Um, so yeah 200 meter diver nice. Now here it is then on my roughly average seven and a quarter inch ish wrist and if you are familiar with my channel and my reviews you'll probably know what I'm about to say. Um, for me, I think it is a touch too big and heavy now. When I first bought this watch, I absolutely loved it. I rarely took it off my wrist. But back then, I was interested in more noticeable watches. This is almost 44 millimeters in diameter. It's a fairly heavy diver for me as well, and especially for an everyday watch. And I think my experience now handling so many watches and having this watch review channel on YouTube, I have now started to appreciate slightly smaller and less noticeable watches. Um, so yes, as much as I love this watch, it's not a watch that I would now buy um, to wear regularly, um, but I do respect it absolutely 100%. And um, yeah, I had very good reasons back in the day for loving this watch and wearing it as much as I did. Um, but I think my tastes have just changed a little bit now. Um, but there will be many, many people out there that still appreciate 44 millimeter divers. Um, those people will have wrists perhaps the same size as mine, maybe smaller, maybe larger. Um, but yeah, I'm sure they will definitely appreciate this watch. So please let me know in the comments section, guys, what you think of this Seagull Ocean Star. And should I try to get in the new version, the actual new version, and um, maybe do a review and a comparison? I'd like to see it, actually. Um, so yeah, I'll reach out to them and see how interested they are. All right, guys, I look forward to reading your comments. Take care. Look after yourselves. You'll see me again very, very soon.